better pace Head in space, King Palm, take me to heaven's gates okay. Demonstrate in my mental space, different levels Wait, wait What's up, everybody? Ricky HD, Ricky HD Performance. I know I've been out of the game for a little bit. Probably been about two months since I put out a video, but I'm back in action. That's all that matters. You know what I mean? Life happens, man. Sometimes you get jammed up with some shit, but you got to get back into what you love. And what I love is working on these motorcycles and making these videos for y'all so y'all can work on your motorcycles and not pay fucking the stealership ship like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Anyways, a lot of people have asked me this question. Hey, bro, check it out. When I go to hit my clutch, it just fucking runs and runs and runs until about five grand RPM, then it'll catch. Oh my God, is it a transmission issue? Is it this, is it that? It's not hard and it's not expensive. You can do this on your own. Most times, nine, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be your clutch plates. Clutch plates in the middle, they have some Kevlar, some other material, and that will wear out, that will burn out, whatever, from the constant going and power and whatever. But what you do is you order some clutch plates online. You can go to any website. You can look it up, hit me up. I'll tell you what you need. I'll order it for you. I don't care. We're gonna get the clutch plates. We're gonna soak them overnight in the same oil you're gonna be using in the primary, right? And what I do is I take them, I soak them in the oil overnight, and I'm not the key holder to the knowledge of the Harley Davidson world, it's just how I do it because I prefer it that way. I've noticed when you put clutch plates in dry, they stick, they run until they get lubricated, so it's easier just to lubricate them up and then put them in and you'll be smooth sailing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the oil plug, we're gonna pull the primary off, we're gonna take the fucking clutch plates out, put them in sequentially, how they're supposed to go in, which right there in the manufacturer's uh, Man, what's that thing called? The details, the uh, step-by-steps, whatever the fuck is called, go through that. It'll show you which one goes first, which one goes last, etc. Put them in there sequentially, adjust the clutch nut, put the fucking primary cover back on, put your drain bolt back in, fill her up with the oil, you're ready to go. It's that simple. It's very, very, very simple. So follow these steps, no matter if it's a road glide, if it's a fucking Dyna, if it's a soft tail, if it's whatever the case may be, it's going to be along the similar lines. This one right here, this happens to be a twin cam 103 road glide. So follow these steps and you'll be cruising, ranching, saving money in no time. Let's do it. All right, so the fans on, it's probably loud, but check it out. When you do this, you wanna check this oil drain plug. See how much metal shavings is on there? You wanna look through there and make sure there's nothing major, no big shavings, no big chunks. It should just be little small shavings. If there's something like that, then you know you got some serious other problems. This one's pretty good, it's just shavings just from the, uh, from the clutch and everything else rubbing together, a little metal, but nothing big deal. Little tip. Then it probably slipped me in again. Then again, if it's warden, pass me the sip of the medicine. Let's get into some shit. I got weapons on weapons. Let's begin. Get into some shit. I got weapons on weapons. Yeah. Now who the fuck want war, nigga? Now who the fuck want war with me? What you want? I got so much in store, nigga. A lot of merch from the brand. If you can't. All right, so right here, now that we got the primary off, we got the oil drained, all that good stuff, we cleaned up the outside. What we're gonna do is we're gonna smell it. This one smells burnt as fuck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the clutch in and make sure that the diaphragm spring is okay. It's moving, it's good to go. I'm gonna take my 10 millimeters, bum, 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 bum. There is six of those. And then I'm gonna take a, uh, I believe this is 11 16th, yeah. 11 16th, I'm gonna back out this, uh, the clutch actuator bolt nut. And then I'm going to pull all the stuff out and watch as I pull them out. I'm going to pull them out one by one. And I'm going to put them back in one by one, exactly in the same sequence. So <clears throat> be weary of where your diaphragm spring is. And then there's two other plates in the back that are not clutch plates. So just be weary of that. Looks the monsoon. I'm really exclusive to the game. I move like Mewtwo. Who knew? They would twist the narrative like voodoo. The they tell a lie right to your face and y'all just choo choo. Eat it up. No wonder motherfuckers spitting that doo doo. Boo boo. Got it out the mush. Flood the neighborhood with guns and drugs and charges criminals thugs. They don't speak it on their own kind. That's where we fail, dog. The truth ain't gotta rhyme. That shit prevails, dog. The gin and tonic. So, whenever you're doing, uh, whenever you're in here, what you wanna do is you wanna look at, you wanna check. I like to blow everything out, make sure I check the teeth on everything. This is your starter engage. Uh, you know, check all the teeth on here. Check all the fucking teeth on here. Always look at your compensator. If you've seen some of my recent videos, um, the compensator breaks a lot. So just inspect all this, check the teeth, you know, check in here for any cracking, cracking, marring, um, you know, get a flashlight, get up underneath here, check the automatic primary tensioner. This is the primary chain tensioner. And what this does is it, see how it has little teeth right here. It automatically changes. So whenever this, whenever you hit it, and you hit on the throttle, this will fucking, this will loosen up and this will automatically keep it tight. So check this because this goes out too. Um, make sure I like to spray everything. So it's 
it's nice and clean for whenever you put the new clutch plates in. Uh, you don't have to worry about any residual fucking material getting on there. So that's it. All right, so you got everything out of your clutch basket and you might be wondering, oh shit, what the hell are these things? These always go back in. This is your damper spring uh, seat. And what you'll notice because it's got a flat edge and it's thicker. So that's gonna go in first. And then you're gonna notice that there's this one that's concave, which means it has like a rolling to it. You always wanna make sure that the flared side, which is angled this way, is towards you. So just remember, when you have your, your damper spring, that's gonna be concave facing out. Your diaphragm spring's gonna be concave facing in, so that way they can sandwich your clutch plates and your friction plates. And this goes on always at the end. And so just remember that these three plates you're gonna reuse. You're gonna reuse the damper spring seat, the damper spring, and your diaphragm spring. So now that we got our damper spring plate and our damper spring in there, we're gonna put our plates back in one by one, make sure they go in there. We're gonna put our, uh, we're gonna put our clutch adjustment fucking plate back on there. We're gonna put our damper spring back on there, button it all up. You know, if you need to adjust the, uh, if you need to adjust the clutch spring, all you do is you take that, that 11 sixteenths and you tighten it until you feel it actuate. Put all this back together, put some oil in it, and that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Something else you want me to do, let me know. Live like voodoo. The they tell a lie right to your face and y'all just choo-choo. Eat it up, no wonder motherfuckers spitting that doo-doo.